Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. This week, Ubiquity is at the Cedia conference and with that, they just released a new video. That new video is on the unified doorbell experience, which is gonna bring protect and access together. We're gonna watch this video and then we'll talk about what we see in it. And we may also see some pictures and videos from the CD event, so let's get started. We're gonna watch the full video. I won't be doing any talking during it, but if you wanna watch this video yourself, I will put it in the description below, so let's take a look. The all new G6 Pro entry brings the best of Unify Protect and Unify Access into a world leading premium doorbell experience. Powered by an insane wide angle, one over 1.6 inch, 12 megapixel sensor with a dedicated package view camera, crystal clear two way audio, and a multi tops AI engine, it is simply the most advanced doorbell ever created. Featuring full Unify access support, including NFC, touch pass and face ID and a customizable touchscreen for branding directories and guest pin entry the G6 Pro entry redefines what a doorbell can be for those seeking value the standard G6 entry delivers the same protect and access integration in a streamlined form while the doorbell light features a timeless design that is non-invasive and ideal for a wide range of deployment environments bringing unified technology to everyone, starting at just $99. Experience the new unified doorbell lineup for yourself and catch an exclusive preview of our upcoming Pro AV solutions this week at Cedia in Denver, Colorado. All right, so that was pretty awesome. We got to see three new different doorbells and then they did tease a couple AV switches, which we'll take a look at. But this is the G6 Pro Entry, which is a super nice doorbell. I do love the bigger screen on it. Like it shows on screen, it says it's a wide angle with 12 megapixel and it looks like we have a bit of a light at the top. Also going down near the bottom, it will display our time and also our weather. And we do have this little settings icon, which is gonna be nice to be able to customize it. One of the biggest things that I use my doorbell for is the package detection and they are still adding it on here. It looks like it also has a nice speaker and we have the push button so that we could ring the doorbell chime. Like their other doorbells, we will be able to do two-way audio. So if somebody rings my doorbell, I could talk to them through the Protect application. What's also nice about this doorbell, it has the multi-tops AI engine so this will be essentially an AI doorbell and a lot of people were wanting that they thought maybe a G6 doorbell would come out which would have the AI features so this will do our facial recognition another nice addition this will integrate within unify access so if you have an electric strike on your door or if you have a mag lock you could use facial recognition you could use a pin you could do a QR code or you could use a fob to be able to get in through your door. It looks like within this doorbell that they're kind of taking the design from the Unify Access intercoms where they're integrating different directories and allowing us to customize the wallpaper on it. So you could put your own custom business wallpaper on there and then within the directory, if you want the auto works, it's gonna click that and it should dial out. So this is really nice if you don't want the intercom. Their intercoms are fairly large, so some people wouldn't want that at the front of their building. So I think this doorbell is the perfect solution. Next up is the G6 entry, which looks similar to the G6 Pro entry, but it doesn't have that screen on it. So we're not gonna be able to do directories and we're not gonna be able to type in pins. But you could see right in the middle there, it still has NFC and we also have the camera and the speaker and the package detection. Now the doorbell light is super interesting to me and at that price point, which they say is $99 or the starting price point is $99, I think that is a great value. We have that traditional button on the doorbell, but we also have the camera on top and I would assume that we have a microphone so that we can do two-way audio. And the last thing that was shown was some new audio video gear. So we have the EAV aggregation, we have the EAV 24 PoE, and then the EAV bridge. I'm not an audio expert, but I am starting to learn, and this all looks super interesting. We have HDMIs on it, we have some PoE in, and then we have our little LCM screens, which is really nice. Within the Ubiquity website, they have listed the G6 Pro entry and the doorbell light. I wasn't able to find the G6 entry. Maybe they do have it on there, and if you do find it, please let me know down in the comments. But we could see that this is gonna ship on Q4 2025, and there's no price tag on it right now. 
It tells us that it is all weathered and it is PoE plus in so that we can power it up. I'm not sure if they're going to be making a Wi-Fi one. Let me know in the comments if you would like one of those. We could also see that it does that enhanced AI detections. It does two-way audio and that touch screen is actually three inches. So I think that's pretty nice. One thing that I missed when I was first looking at this picture was the tamper switch. And I'm really glad that they added that in there. I would assume if you move the doorbell or you're trying to take the doorbell off, that an alarm will go off. You could probably also pair this with the Unify Siren so that it's even louder. But we will do testing once I get one of these doorbells. We also have all of the different tech specs down below. So our networking interface, which is a gigabit RJ45, and then it does have BLE 4.1 and NFC. The doorbell light does have a price on it. So this is going to be $99 USD and it's shipping October 2025. So that's coming up really soon. And we have two different colors. We have black and we have white, so you're gonna be able to choose which style you like better. This also says that it's powered up by PoE and we have two-way audio and they have different mounting options. So we could see a couple screenshots that they show of how you need to mount it onto your wall. And that's gonna be it for the new unified doorbells and the little bit we saw of those AV switches. If you would like to go to a unify event like this, they are doing a Ubiquity World Conference. They have three dates that they're currently doing. September 9th in the Unify Nordic, so that will be in Stockholm, Sweden. We have the Ubiquity World Conference, which is in Sydney, Australia. And then we have the Unify World Conference in Miami, Florida. I will be going to the Miami, Florida one, so if you do see me, come up and talk to me if you would like. There will also be some other creators going. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these new doorbells. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.